same last year, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, and the children have come, bring them now. If you came two years ago, and you were only pregnant when you came last year, but the children are here now, bring them also. I just want you to think of it. Look at the various homes where there used to be sorrow every month and now there is joy. And they are still coming. They are still coming from my right. They are still coming from my left. Thousands upon thousands of new children. From homes where they said that the parents were barren. Now this is not a miracle you can manipulate. This is this is God. We somebody please help me shout hallelujah to the most high God. So if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Just go ahead and claim how many of them you want for yourself. If you believe that that's, if you believe that that is going to happen, let me hear you shout hallelujah. In those days, we were taught that there were three steps in Christianity. Salvation, sanctification, who will tell me the third one? All this free baptism, only the older ones know. Apparently, they don't teach you that, that thing anymore. They said three steps salvation, sanctification, baptism in the Holy Spirit. You've taken those three steps, you have arrived. Sanctified people are those. Who will suffer any wrong and take it calmly rather than allow a non believer to say, and you call yourself a child of God? When we were younger Christians, they taught us you must be sanctified. Even before you begin to ask for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. A time of refreshing, music, miracles, salvation, testimonies, and the word. The Redeemed Christian Church of God invites you to our 62nd annual convention with the team, the Holy Spirit. Venue, the Arena Redemption Camp, Kilometer 46, Lagos Ibado Expressway, Ogun State, Nigeria. Date, Monday. 4th of August to Sunday 10th of August 2014 with the Holy Ghost service on Friday 8th of August 2014. Pastor E.A. Adeboy and others ministry. And it is when you now become sanctified that God said, now I can trust you with my power. Now I can trust you with my Holy Spirit because the Spirit of God is Holy. And the Holy Spirit cannot live in a heart that is still stubborn, that is still unruly, that is still disobedient. Then he says, now you can have power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost is come upon you. 
brethren the real Holy Spirit is a bomb 